What's up, everybody? Where am I? I'm in Santa. I'm in Santa Ana. Gregor and uh, Chris and uh, my artwork, my Caleb, Jason. Um, okay. Thank you. I know your last name. P something or another. Joe Dubs. Joe Dubs. Brett. Brett Dell. Bill. And what's your name? Chris. Chris. Well, that's it. <laughs> End of video. We're just all here hanging out, talking about stuff. Weird Jason. Stuff. Jason's going to talk about something. What's this paper that people should go read? Oh, well, show uh, me. Show me what it is. Well, I, there's a few names for it. Uh, Searle versus CERN, and uh, this is really important for people to take a look at. Um, to get context finally for what this guy has been talking about and give it more context rather than something esoteric and, uh, and woo woo, something with concrete science, something that has scientific articles, stuff that has proof in the same experiments that we've already seen but looking at it from a new angle. And uh, the point that I'm trying to make is that CERN's model and the model of massless particles and space curvature is absolutely bogus and I would rather talk about positive and negative mass rather than how this particle is massless more than that massless particle. That just makes absolutely no sense to me. So uh, I'm making the leap to say that there is such thing as positive mass and negative mass and uh, that positive mass forms spheres and that negative mass forms rings and that uh, there is different polarities of it. Is this your document? Yes, it you is. You published this? Well, I just posted it. I didn't publish it. I, I mean, you it. put this together. Yeah, I put it together. You wrote it. Yeah. I'll put it in the description. Please. Yes. And Read uh, it. Look it over. There's a lot of stuff in here. And you know, if you look at it from face value, you're not going to get a lot out of it. Face Indeed? value? You got paid for it? Never. No way. Right? That's what never. I thought. Never. That's what I thought. <laughs> yeah, let me say that again. Never. I never charge anything. I, talk for free, live for free, try to deliver all this stuff for free. Be that's free. That's very important to me. Absolutely. Uh, so there there are, you know, Wikipedia, there's negative mass concepts. We have uh, uh, other scientific articles, if I could flip through these real quick. Science that stumped Einstein, physics.org. We have uh, cuprits are not enough, uh, defying elect uh, convention. Electrons are not the cause of charged grains. Uh, that, you know, superconductivity uh, secrets, uh, the severing the science. So all of this stuff is like the tip-top pinnacle, hardest stuff to tackle you could possibly talk about, and only the PhDs can are credible and are uh, you know they're able to talk about it. Like they have the right to talk about this stuff. Yet they're talking about massless particles having more or less zero mass and other stuff, raising or dropping the curvature of space. One thing I want to just, uh, just real hilarious. Uh, so this is a model for curve of space. They say Earth is massive and has mass. There is only positive mass, they say. And there's this flat fabric of space and then you have mass and it creates this well. Okay, but they just said that a massless particle creates a hill. So what's the other side of a well? A hill. So by their logic, they're saying simultaneously as mass is pushing this side on a well, there's two sides to a meniscus. So you can't just have one side of a coin, one side of a meniscus. So they're saying that mass is pushing it to divot and masslessness is pulling it. Which one is creating what? Is the massless particle pulling space from a hill from this side of the meniscus to generate earth? Or is Earth pushing this meniscus to generate the masslessness? They're only looking at one side of a meniscus, first of all. There's two. And then what is this? This ball particle, this massive particle, is generated by a massless particle? <clears throat> so it's just absolutely absurd. Uh, even the, using their own Cartesian coordinate graphs, if zero, zero is masslessness, 
and above the horizontal line is positive, what's below the horizontal line? Or what's negative. Negative. Right? What's this? What's all of this out here? They, they just have this negative. sombrero just cut off at the equator, which really that's supposed to represent as a magnetic That's supposed to be line. an upside down fedora. <laughs> Well, somebody sombrero, needs to circumcise yeah. the sombrero, all right? Somebody needs to cut a hole in the sombrero. These people need to stop talking about massive particles generating wells. And then they're calling a black well a black hole. How are you going to have a name black hole yet show black well? Does that make any sense, people? So, and then they're going to say, instead of a black hole, they'll probably call it a white hill, like a Higgs field. It's the opposite, right? Or a black hill or whatever they're going to call it. But the point is, these people are talking nonsense for billions of our tax dollars. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's some man who claims that he could build a tabletop device to achieve what CERN is trying to achieve for at femtoseconds, but at a constant on a macro scale. That could actually power our house. How long has it been that they've been getting funding for their god particles? Are you ever going to power an LED, let alone your house, with a god particle? With a massless particle? Pulling up curved space. Oh my god. <laughs> Somebody like help me. Like, like, where am I? Where are we? Are these people for real? So this That's is a diagram that Searle came up with ten years ago in print. Uh, that sort of to me looks like the Higgs model, but instead of it being flat curvature of space being raised into a sombrero. It's magnetic field lines that are being frustrated, meaning it's, there's a lag in a rotating magnetic field resulting from specific waveforms imprinted upon positive mass which accumulate negative mass up a conical frustum, which then accumulate and then collapse like a cavitation bubble uh, to form what they would call a, a black hole, I guess. But it's not a hole, it's, it's, it is a hole, but it's not a well with some sphere. It's not a sphere that has, it's, it's a ring. Fit a ring around that, you get a hump, right? You fit a ring around the sombrero, you get a hump. Those lines are not representative of fabric of space, they're representative of magnetic field lines of which the B and E fields aren't even oriented correctly in their graph. <laughs> so, like, it's just, when you start to look at it from this perspective, it just, gets more and more and more absurd yeah. for more and more and more of your tax dollars. <laughs> for years, in 2008 alone, according to their own expenditure budget, CERN spent $467 million. It's 2015, where's the God particle? People are saying John Searle's talking nuts <laughs> and has never been given $3 million to bring his claims to fruition that he says he already did this decades ago, and in order to do it again, needs three million dollars to build this AC-DC magnetizer to imprint these specific waveforms with a team of less than a dozen personnel over the course of 18 months. Or, you can never have massless Higgs bosons, god particles, to never power your house for billions of three and a half billion dollars since 2008, and they think that it's like a pathetic gambler who says they have the formula this year, I'm just gonna get it right this year, just need one more loan. Right. Yeah. So, to me, talking about massless particles is crazier than talking about negative mass. We can actually give it a shape and a value equivalent. So like there's a, there's an energy equivalence principle which Einstein thinks gravity and inertia is the same, no. The equivalence principle applies to this positive mass is here, you can't put your hand through it, but if there was a negative mass equivalent here, it would be in the form of a dense energy ring, at which point it would be like a magnet trying to repel a force field, you can't get your hand through it. Or if you were to put that field around this, this would get like lighter, in equal to the mass equivalent of that negative mass around this positive mass. So you can deal with negative weight, negative inertia, negative gravity, uh, and it's not something anomalous. So electrons, what I'm saying, are negative mass. The current model is that electrons have positive mass with a negative charge, and that there's no such thing as negative mass. It's all positive, and once you get to zero, that's it. Yet they're saying that you can make a hill out of that fabric of space, 
So just by my simple mind, if positive mass makes a well, masslessness makes flat, how would more masslessness make a hill? Positive mass, well. Negative mass, hill. No mass, flat. How they're saying is masslessness is making a hill. It just, I'm sorry, like nobody's convinced me otherwise and I've thought about this my entire life trying to ask the smartest people I know. I met Michio Kaku, he didn't seem to know anything about what he was talking about, just wanted to, oh yeah, that's how good. I've looked into that already and uh, there's nothing to really see here. Here, buy my new book. <laughs> I was at the Exploratorium in like 2008 when he was doing his book release on the physics of the impossible. I was there while he was releasing all that. I was the first person in line and I grilled him for 15 minutes while I was, the, hey, have you heard about John Searle? Have you heard about uh, this? Have you heard about Stan Lai? Have you heard, of, I, I went through so many names. He was like, I looked into all of it and there's nothing to see by my book. It's all explained here. <laughs> Fraud. So I have a picture with him, and in the picture I photoshopped, I'm with Stupid, with an arrow next to him. This guy, I'll, I'll post a link to that too. Meet you, Kaka, see me later, after class. Seriously. I'm out of battery. I'm, I'm just the village idiot here. I'm just talking that these guys claim to be the experts. Who sounds more reasonable, Occam's Razor or Sir? So, I'm out of battery, I gotta change it. Okay, hey. Congratulations. Thanks. Ah! <laughs>